feels like it's been a while since we've done some stuff on YouTube, doesn't it? So, what do you reckon? Time for a new save? Yeah, I reckon so. <laughs> Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome along to the channel. I'm Tony. Hope you're well. Thank you very much for stopping by. Uh, if you're new, please do yourself a favour, drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel as well. Keep those notifications on because this is the start of a brand new series for Football Manager 22. It's not going to be the sort of usual let's play that I've had on the channel previously. This is a build a nation save in Indonesia. Yeah, that's right, Indonesia, a nation, in fact, a continent I've never even managed on before. Um, I hope you're excited for the journey. I'm very excited. Um, if you've never done a build a nation save before, basically we've got a few objectives of the save and they're very, very simple, okay? So the first thing we need to do for a build a nation is be dominant domestically. Then the next objective is no Indonesian club has ever won the Asian Champions League. That would be amazing if we can be the team that does it. After that, is Indonesia as a nation have never won the Olympics. Furthermore, Indonesia as a nation have never won the World Cup, unsurprisingly. They have, however, in the 30s, previously got to the quarterfinals before. So we've got something to aim for. And the thing is, right, it's not just going to be about us. It's not just us winning the titles. It's not just us winning the Champions League. We need the nation to improve. In order to do that, we need to try and keep as many good Indonesian players in Indonesia as we possibly can. Now, how we're going to do that is the Indonesian league doesn't have a limit on loan signings, which means we're going to be trying to loan players in between clubs as much as we can. If we can help the other teams as well, that's how you build the nation. Everybody else needs to improve at the same time. It's not just about us being dominant and that's it. We need other teams to be challenging for the Asian Champions League. We want the national team to get better. Obviously, we're hoping in FM22 to see the dynamic youth rating and that is something that's really, really exciting. Hopefully, that'll help us as we progress throughout the challenge. So I guess now we should probably tell you about the team we're going to manage. Now, as I've said, I don't know a lot about Indonesian football, okay? And this team came as a recommendation from FM Scrolls. He sent me a video, link is in the description below, and I think probably above my head actually, if you click on that as well. Uh, basically, it gives you an indication as to what the team are about. Now, the team are called PSS Slemon. Now, the video is really, really interesting because PSS Slemon are the only club who have female-led ultras. They've taken it upon themselves to try and change the culture of the football club. They refuse to have negative chanting within the stadium. So it's 90 minutes of positive chanting for the team. And I've been voted the loudest fans in Indonesia. So I guess right now what we need to do is go and have a little look at them. Because it's going to be a challenge. It's going to be a challenge. So there you have it then, guys. We have officially signed as PSS Slemon manager in Indonesian League One. As you can see, we have put pen to paper on a £2.2,000 contract, which only runs until the end of the season. Now, for a builder nation, I think we're going to need a little bit more stability, personally, but that's fine. We can win them over. Um, I hope. I guess we have to see what they want in terms of expectations, and we'll go from there. As you can see, expected to finish sixth, building on last season's eighth place finish, which is pretty good given the fact they've only just been promoted fairly recently. They finished in the fourth round of the Indonesian Cup last year and have only won one second division title in their existence. Um, we have previous of managing clubs with only one trophy in the cabinet before, so that bodes well. However, for a build a nation save, poor training, poor youth facilities, and basic youth recruitment that could be tricky i like the look of a christmas tree formation though that's exciting i'm all about that um we probably won't play it we'll probably play 4-4-2 to be honest and just ignore any midfield um but i like it 4-3-2-1 a little bit different um names i mean not household names for me personally uh names that are jumping out already mashlak uh janino <gasps> 
Oh, I hope it's the Middlesbrough Janino. It might be a Leon style Janino, but a Middlesbrough Janino would be amazing. And, and, and Kodjic as well. So they already look to be names that I'm getting excited about. So this year, play possession football, that's fine. Uh, top half of the league, be a little bit higher than I was expecting, but never mind. Uh, top half of the Indonesian Cup, but more importantly, next year, challenge for the title? I mean, right. Presumably, therefore, the squad we've got is fit for a title challenge. To be honest, I think the idea of challenging for the title anytime soon is maybe, maybe a little bit pie in the sky, if I'm honest, because what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the three best players I've seen so far in the squad, and then I'm going to give you a little peek at some of the other players just to show you what the average squad player looks like for Slemon. Okay? So, in terms of our best players, I'm going to first of all pick out this guy. Mario Majlak. I mentioned it on the little Christmas tree diagram there. I figured he was going to be one of our better players. He, of course, is. Uh, six foot three, Serbian centre half. Big, strong, aggressive, can tackle. You can mark a player. He's got everything you need, to be honest. And especially for this level, he's going to be fantastic. Even the fact that he's got acceleration of 10 is probably not going to be that much of an issue because I've got a feeling this is going to be one of the better players uh, in the Indonesian league. And you know what? Delighted that he's at my club. <laughs> Look at this. We said at the start that was this going to be a Leon-esque Janino or a Middlesbrough Esque Janino, and let's face it, with a uh, strength of nine, I'm gonna side a little bit more towards the Middlesbrough Janino personally, which to be honest, I'm quite happy with really. I like the idea of a little playmaker just uh, rolling around, uh, picking up loose balls, threading passes. You can see he's creative, he's got vision, he's got uh, technique, he's got flair. He's gonna be the creative outlet for us uh, as we try to break down the defenses and hopefully, hopefully add a little bit of Samba flair that I'm sure the league will appreciate. And if he can thread the balls into Kodjic, then oh, we are cooking with gas, right? Because again, we mentioned Mashlak, big six foot three centre half, a six foot Serbian forward. Yeah, yeah, I'm all for that, to be honest. Give me a big man up front. I'm very, very happy about that. Okay, again, strong, pace, he can finish, good in the air. Uh, I'm expecting goals. I'm expecting, to be honest, I'm expecting to not have to really use Janino, really. I'm expecting Mashlak to smash the ball from defence up to Kodjic. But if somehow the ball ends up at Janino's feet, I either want him to do something with it or slip it back to Kodjic and let him finish it off. So there, what I think are my top three players in the squad now. As I say, for balance... Just have a look at what else we have in the squad. These are apparently average players in Indonesia. For example, this is our first choice goalkeeper. First choice. I know even at Peterborough last year we had some bad goalkeepers, but even this guy would struggle to get in the Peterborough team. I think we're relying on the goals coming from Kodjic because they're not going to come from Miller, are they? Let's be honest. Oh, he's not going to score goals. I don't even know where to begin with Derry Rackman, to be honest. As a defender, do I... Do I hate the fact that he can't tackle, can't mark, can't cross, can't pass, can't head? <laughs> Doesn't really work for the team, isn't particularly determined. And isn't particularly strong. Number 69 is funny though. It's not all bad though. Some centre halves are five foot nine. This guy is wanted by other clubs. Wanted. Potentially, he's a player who should be playing for us. Okay, now I might have been a little bit harsh, to be honest, in my assessment of the squad. I don't know a lot about Indonesian football, as I say, but my initial thoughts, we might need some more players. Um, we need to have a quick look at the rules, see if there's anything that's going to jump out, because, of course, as I say, we've never managed here before. The only thing that really jumps out to me is 
the two transfer windows, which are fairly standard, but one is the 1st of February to the 31st of March. The only reason that's interesting is the game starts on the 1st of March. So we're looking at a difficult recruitment window being made even more difficult by the fact we're halfway in it as the game starts. So that's fine. However, it looks like there's no restriction on loans. So that's potentially something we can play to our advantage again, especially because we're doing a build a nation. So we're gonna keep those players within Indonesia. We can loan our players out. More importantly, we can loan players from other clubs as well. So that's gonna be key because obviously, as you can see, we can only uh, bring in four foreigners, three of which can't be Asian. So um, I'm guessing Majlak, Janino, Kodjic, uh, they're our big guys. They're the ones we're gonna try and build the squad around. Everyone else is gonna to have to be Indonesian. So and this is what we look like in terms of the pre-season expectations. So we're expecting to finish sixth, as we already said. Uh, we don't have any players in the pre-season team of the season preview, however they pronounce it, um, which is fine, to be honest. But let's say we do need to go and do some recruitment. We'll get some friendlies done. Uh, what we'll do now, though, is we'll, we'll, sort of, we'll do all that off camera and then we'll cut straight to the first league game in indonesian league one now this was broadcast on twitch so if you do want to follow the twitch save as we said before the link is in the description below so go watch that match and then i'll come back at the end do a little wrap up and tell you what to expect in the next video so uh fingers crossed for a great start with pss slemon wouldn't it be like getting kicked by someone with two strength <laughs> Would you even feel it? <laughs> good question. Good question. I mean, to be fair, we spend a lot of pre-season getting red cards, so maybe. Uh, Alaya JDS, appreciate the follow. I'm not even taking the piss. I'm my first ever save, and I can't figure out how to play my first game. Mate, like you'll you'll get there, man. Just keep clicking continue at the top, up on the top. That'll uh, that'll guide you through. Or there's um there's little sort of hints in the corner. You can click, and um. And uh, that'll give you like, some little help buttons. So click those and that, that'll help take you through it. Um, encourage and demand more. It's also part of, the, uh, part of the way of doing it as well. Right, we're in green. We're in green, okay? Our opponents are in white. Okay. Right, 12 minutes in. Big Codge gets the opener. That'll do, that'll do. Codge father. <laughs> yes, Nippenberg, I love it. Williando. Uh, what's the biggest achievement in FM I've ever achieved? Um, that'll have been the Champions League with Blind Spartans, 50 years in the game. Um, the one that was part of the football manager room my life show uh, that was my biggest achievement soccer with brian zane yes soccer with brian how are you welcome in buddy Ooh. we're living it up indonesian style blast spawns my team's rivals <laughs> who'd have thought it eh? Who are you? Are you Gateshead, yeah? Yeah. 
Couple of managers ruined my lives. <laughs> Just over here trying to unspur the hot spurs. Hope you and the chat are well. We're all very well, thank you, Sir Brian. Very well indeed. Um, a pleasure, a pleasure having you here. Knew your voice sounded familiar. Blood Spars, the documentary. Yeah, that's me. That's me. Yeah. I was, I was much, I was much younger back then. Yeah, we did a on Friday. We did a um, we did a, a watch along with the show. It's um, it's on it's on this Twitch channel. Uh, you can see it for the next week or so. Then it's going to go onto YouTube. It's, it's a one and a half hour stand up show. The stream is four hours long. <laughs> and that's the word of a lie it was ridiculous uh, kill the last romantic appreciate the follow absolute goals absolute goals um, yeah it was a lot of fun a lot of fun Tony this is beyond League One style this is this is fine right now isn't it this is fine this should be Burnley-esque but it's Guardiola maybe I'm the Indonesian Guardiola you know, maybe I've found, maybe I've genuinely found my level. <laughs> We're gonna get these Indonesian League One style T-shirts done up, like absolutely. Kodjik's on fire. Your defense is terrified. Yeah, we can get all the puns out for uh, for, for for titles going forward as well. I'm glad. I'm glad the first game started well. First game started well. That's that's the important one. We need to get the, we need to get up and running. Uh, Derry Rackman's on a yellow card, obviously. Um, Gardner's seeming to do alright to be honest in midfield I know he's, he's starting to tire a little bit oh come on Willie just lacked that little bit of anticipation there I think Gardner's got long sleeves on man <laughs> get that clipped right Willie Ando what a strike what a strike Big Willy style right there. Yeah, clip that. That's the one we're putting up on, on the internet. Goal, 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 goal. I think, yeah. I think we've found our team here. Played one season with Lazio and the beater just seen just to see him mobile. Yeah. And the guy from Indonesia. <laughs> yeah, immobile tore us apart when we were a uh, manager at um at, at Sampdoria. But then again, everybody tore us apart when we were at Sampdoria, so I don't really think it was just a, an immobile thing. Keep it in a step ladder to keep that one out. Yeah. The um I think the play at the uh the level the height difference of, of players in this league is is shocking. Right, here comes Atep. He's coming on. This is the thing with Willander though. He can score. He can score a belt like the chip, and then he just goes. Oh, I'm not really going to score the next one. Nah, too difficult. Thanks. Not for me. Um. Gone. Oh. We're starting to play, aren't we? We're starting to play. Oh. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Smart play by... Look like unselfish, unselfish play by Willie as well. Top of the league. It's literally all downhill from here, isn't it? Literally all downhill now. Loyal Royal, appreciate the follow. Very kind. If you are thinking about following, by the way, we, we stream Wednesdays and Sundays. We're going to be doing every single night this week, though, however. Nine o'clock UK time. Um, tomorrow morning and Thursday morning. I'm going to do a half nine stream in the morning um, with, a, with a Wrexham save. So as part of our Discord challenge. Uh, if you're not on the Discord, come and join in. <laughs> Willie's got another one. <laughs> come and get yourselves joined in. Uh, 
Big Willie's away again. I know I missed it. What a strike. What a strike. Okay, now. hell. FC Santa has to be the December challenge. Yeah, I think you're probably right to go to site. Um, that was a lot of fun. I think I'll take that. Um, can't complain, right? 6 0. Yeah. That'll do. That'll do. That gets us off to a good start. Well, there you have it, everyone. An absolutely thumping 6 0 victory on the first game of the season. That's pretty impressive, isn't it? And I've got no reason to presume that that is not going to be how the rest of the save goes from this way forward okay now if you enjoyed it as i said at the start please please drop a comment on the video drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel and of course if you're interested in seeing uh how we get on over on twitch please do follow me on twitch as well of course as i say the link is in the description below i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope to see you very very soon on the next episode of build a nation indonesia